So what's going on everyone, T Glizzy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Strand. Bungie just dropped an entire blog going over Strand, giving us the key verbs to look out for on this brand new subclass. Also, they gave us the aspects and fragments that we can expect for Strand on each of the classes. So we're going to be going over all this information in this Destiny 2 video. If you do go into enjoy, please be sure to let me know by smashing that thumbs up button. But before we dive into today's video, a quick word from our sponsor is the number one cloud gaming service take your games anywhere with you using boosteroid this cloud gaming service pairs with steam the epic game store the origin launcher and also battle.net if you own games on any of these platforms you can download them for free to your boosteroid account and start gaming right away boosteroid supports many AAA games such as destiny 2 gta 5 modern warfare 2 and many more so you can get signed up to boosteroid right now by following the link in the description so this blog starts off by going over some key vocabulary we'll need to know going into the lightfall expansion so just giving us some new vocabulary to actually add to our collection for destiny 2 so this starts off by reading deadly definitions to understand strand let's first start with some vocabulary creating an object using strand is weaving defeating an enemy affected by strand will unravel them disconnecting their life force from the weave and creating a tangle left behind after a strand debuffed enemy is defeated a tangle is a swirling bundle of strand fiber these bundles of strand explode when shot causing an area of damage to nearby enemies guardians can also pick up tangles and throw them to deadly effect on the debuff side there are three new terms to know suspended unravel and sever and suspended reads a suspended pve enemy is lifted off the ground for a brief duration and essentially disabled and pvp suspended enemies are lifted off the ground but can still move and fire their weapons to fight back unravel attacking an unraveled enemy will cause threads to burst out of the target and attack other nearby targets once hit that target will will become unraveled and then finally we have severed a severed enemy is less capable of affecting the material world reducing their damage output as a result so from the outside looking in i can already tell that sever is going to be one of the best debuffs in the game allowing enemies to do less damage as long as you debuff them with sever this is going to be excellent for the day one raid for really challenging content even grandmasters definitely sever is going to be something on my to-do list as soon as lightfall comes through so that we can do some damage testing to see how much damage we're actually reducing the enemy by but this closes out by saying the major buff coming with strand is woven mail which we actually seen on the hunter exotic coming in lightfall with this ability the guardian is sheathed in protective mesh of strand matter reducing incoming damage note that in pvp woven mail will only reduce damage taken on the body head damage and melee damage will continue as normal so now heading into the meat and potatoes of this blog we now have the aspects and also some new grenades that are going to be coming in lightfall so this starts off with the warlocks aspects and this reads weaver's call on Rivcast, the warlock weaves three threadling eggs which hatch into threadlings when they hit a surface any perch threadlings are converted to an additional egg then we have mind spun invocation in this reads this aspect improves several of the warlock's abilities and it doesn't state which abilities it just says abilities and then we have the grapple when you execute a grapple melee the warlock weaves three threadling eggs from the target and then we have threadling grenade you can consume your threadling grenade to generate a full complement of perch threadlings and then we have shackle grenade you can consume your shackle grenade to gain a buff creating a suspended detonation on every kill so finally we have the warlock super the warlock's telekinetic abilities culminate with their super needle storm is a deadly combination of burst damage and aerial denial on the cast the warlock conjures strand into a fusillade of hardened spikes launching them forward with a wave of their hand the missiles will stick into enemies and the environment alive like before detonating and reweaving themselves into an army of threadlings that will hunt down any survivors so now moving on to the hunter we have the hunter's aspects and also their super as well so for the first aspect we have ensnaring slam while in the air press the air move input to slam downwards suspending all nearby enemies next we have widow's silk this aspect grants an additional grenade charge the hunter's grapple ability creates a persistent grapple tangle when it latches which fully refunds grenade energy when grappled to hunters can use this ability Ability to set up chains of grapple points that their entire team can use greatly enhancing their ability to quickly move around in combat or traverse the environment so now moving on to the hunter super in this reads the lethal combination of grapple and rope dart converge with the thread runner super silk strike when activated the hunter uses their grapple to freely move throughout the world in a third person view while also throwing their rope dart to strike down enemies hunters will be able to use their grapple more often than their super and the rope dart features both a light and a heavy attack the light attack is 
is meant for single opponents and can be used in the air or on the ground. When on the ground, the hunter can chain attack seamlessly, hitting the enemy with the tip of the dart, deals bonus damage, and defeating the enemy with it causes the enemy to explode. The heavy attack has the hunter swing the rope around in a 360 degree arc, damaging all nearby enemies. As the light attack, this can be used on the ground or in the air. So now moving on to our final class, we have the Titan Berserker. So we have the aspects and also the super as well here. So this reads for our first aspect into the fray, destroying a tangle weaves woven mail onto the Titan and nearby allies. In addition to reducing damage taken, this aspect also increases the Titan's melee energy regeneration while wearing woven mail. And then we have Drenger's Lash, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. When the Titan caster's class ability, the Titan will blast forward in a powerful ripple in reality, suspending enemies that are caught in the shockwave's path. So now for the Titan Super, and this reads, the Titan Berserker Super Blade Fury sees the Titan dual wielding fist blades and roaming the battlefield with ill intent. The Super's light attack is a supercharged version of Frenzy's blade melee attack, and each light attack that connects increases the next attack speed, which tops out at a maximum of three hits. In addition, connecting the light attacks also builds energy for the Super's heavy attack with each hit. With the heavy attack, the Titan hurls a pair of projectiles forward that seeks out enemies, suspending and damaging them on impact. So that does it for all of our aspects and supers that are going to be coming alongside Strand with the Lifefall expansion. So Bungie closes out this blog by giving us a handful of brand new fragments that are going to be coming in the expansion. This isn't the full list of fragments, but it is four brand new fragments that we will be seeing. So for our first fragment here, we have Thread of Ascent in this reads, activating your grenade ability reloads your equipped weapons and grants increased weapon handling and airborne effectiveness for a short time. Next, we have Thread of Fury, damaging targets with a Tango grant to melee energy. Next, we have Thread of Finality, and this reads, Finishers generate Threadlings. And then finally, we have Thread of Warding, picking up an Orb of Power grants Woven Mail. So as we can see here, Strand is aligning to be an amazing subclass, having tons of synergy with the fragments and also with the aspects. Like, I just can't wait to actually get our hands onto Strand. Right now, I'm looking at Sever. Sever looks like it's going to be an amazing debuff to come to the game. It might just be one of the best debuffs in the game, and it's definitely the opposite of what we usually see. We normally see debuffs where we debuff the target and we deal more damage to the target, but actually debuffing a target to deal less damage is absolutely amazing. And then also Thread of Ascent. This is basically going to be Demolitionist, but in a fragment form. So we'll have Demolitionist on all of our weapons as long as we are using this fragment. So again, I'm extremely excited to see what Strand's going to be bringing to the game, how it's going to change up PvE, PvP, and definitely I want to see some of the builds that are going to be coming alongside Strand. We can already see tons of synergy with strand right now so i just can't wait to actually get our hands on this brand new subclass we also know that quicksilver storm is going to be converted to a strand type weapon so this is going to be one of our first strand exotics in destiny 2 so if you can get your hands on the deluxe version of lightfall so that you can get your hands on quicksilver storm so that you can build into some of this synergy but yeah guys that's going to do it for me in this destiny 2 video if you did enjoy please be sure to let me know by smashing that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more and i have been a boy t glizzy you guys have been my awesome viewers and i'll see you guys in another peace